In this tutorial, we'll be going over how you can use adjustment layers, which is one of my favorite features in Affinity Designer. Now, for those of you who may not be familiar with pixel-based image editors like Photoshop, adjustment layers are non-destructive edits that you can make to the contents of a layer. For example, you could use a hue saturation adjustment to change the color of an object in a photo, a vibrance adjustment to make the colors in your images pop more, an exposure adjustment to change the intensity of a light source in a photo, and more. There's about a dozen or so adjustments that you can choose from, and they're all normally meant for working with pixel-based imagery. However, Affinity Designer is unique because it allows you to apply adjustment layers to vector objects. This is a really useful feature that I use all the time personally, and no other vector design app lets you do this. So let's go over how you can use them yourself. So getting us started here, as you can see, I have this example design opened on my canvas. This design is div divided up into two different areas. I have the subject, which is grouped together on this layer, and then I have the background here, which is on a separate layer. And the reason I have this set up like this is because there's two different ways that you can apply adjustment layers in Affinity Designer. You can apply it to the entire image, or you can apply it to a single layer. Let me show you how to do each. Now, if I have a layer selected here and I want to apply an adjustment to an entire image, the first thing you'll want to do is deselect everything. So come up here to where it says select and choose deselect. If it's grayed out, then that means you're already good to go. Now, to add an adjustment layer, I'm going to come down here to the bottom of the layers menu. You'll see this little half circle icon that'll say adjustments if you hover your cursor over it. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to scroll all the way up so we can see all of the different adjustments that we can choose from. You may or may not be familiar with some of these already. For this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use a few of them, starting with curves. So I'm going to click on curves to apply a color curve adjustment layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to edit this a little bit. I'm going to take this node and move this over here like this. And as you, as you can see, as I edit this, the colors of the image are changing relative to the curve adjustment here. And once you are finished making your adjustments, you can just click this little X icon to close out of the menu like that. And as you can see, we have this little layer added on top of everything else right here that represents the adjustment layer. And you can actually turn the visibility of this off and on to see the difference. As you can see there, I was able to change the composition of this vector graphic here by simply applying an adjustment layer. And the cool thing about this is that it's completely non-destructive. You can still go and edit the vector contents of this image. This is still very much a vector object that you can edit like any other vector object. The only difference is that we have this uh, temporary filter applied on top of it. Okay, so that's how you can apply the adjustment layer to the entire image. Let's go over how you can apply it to just a single layer. Let's say I just want the fox to have this adjustment made to it. What I could do is I can click the icon right there let me close out of that. I can click and drag the icon on top of the layer I'd like to apply it to. And if you hold it there for a second, you'll see the update, uh, the change is made in real time. And then you can go ahead and let go of the click and then it'll be applied only to the subject here. Now, if you wanna see where that went, you can just collapse the layer like that. And there's your adjustment layer. I could toggle that off and on like that. And as you can see, the effect is just applied to the fox there. Now, if I want to remove this from this layer and put it back to the overall image, what I could do is I could just click and drag it out of the layer like that and put it on top like that. And now it's being applied to the entire image again. OK, now there's a couple of things that you can do with adjustment layers up here. You'll notice opacity. Let's say you don't really like let's say you like the adjustment, but it's just a little too intense and you want to bring it down a little bit. You can use the opacity slider right here just to change the opacity of that adjustment. If you bring it all the way down, you get back to where you started. But if you bring it up slightly, you can see the change incrementally being applied like that. And then over here, you can also change the blend mode of the adjustment as well if you really want to get carried away with uh, your creativity. OK, uh, now let's go over how you can apply another adjustment layer because you can actually stack adjustment layers on top of each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deselect everything. I'm going to click on adjustments and I'm going to apply a vibrance adjustment. And that's going to be applied in addition to the other adjustment layer here. And I'm going to take my vibrance slider and I'm going to bring this all the way up and I'm going to bring this over like this. And as you can see, we made a little bit of a change there. We brought more of the colors out. We made it pop a little more and I could toggle off the visibility of this so you can see the difference there. Now, if at any point you want to go back and edit your adjustment, all you have to do is click on the icon like that and you will get your little menu that pops up and it shows you exactly where you left off. So you don't have to make new changes. You could just go back and edit your old changes by simply clicking on that icon right there. And when you're done, you can X out to close it 
And you could do the same thing with all of your other adjustments. You can click on those to edit them like that. So let's go over another type of adjustment that you can work with. I'm going to use the HSL right here, which allows you to change the colors in your image here like this. Now let's say I wanna change the background here, this blue color to something else like purple. What I could do is I could click on the color blue right here and I could take the hue shift and change that until I get the color that I'm looking for. I'm looking for a purple shade like that. That looks pretty good. And I can come down here and change the saturation to bring out more of it. And then I could change the luminosity to see how much more visible it is like that, as you can see there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tweak this a little bit. Okay, so I changed the background to purple. I wanna change the color of the fox now to something like green. So I'm gonna click on the red shades because there's a lot of red in here and I'm gonna change the red color to something else, maybe like green like that. Okay, now the green and the purple, they complement each other nicely. I'm gonna close out of that and I'm gonna apply a vibrance layer on top of this just to bring out those colors a little more. I'm gonna bring that slider like that there we go, it's making the colors just a little, just making the colors pop just a little more like that. And as you can see, we have changed the colors or the composition of this entire vector graphic without having to do this individually, clicking on the individual parts, just by adding a couple of adjustment layers. Pretty cool. Okay, so the final example I'd like to demonstrate for this tutorial is the thumbnail that I actually designed for this video. Now, as you can see here, I designed this thumbnail in Affinity Designer. I have all of these different elements here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply an adjustment layer to the entire image just to tie everything together and give it a nice filtered kind of look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click off of everything. I'm gonna add a new adjustment layer. And for this one, I will use curves again. I'm gonna take this curve and bring this up a little bit like this. I'm gonna flatten that a little bit like that. I'm gonna move this over so you can see the changes as they're being applied. I'm gonna add a little bit of blue to this image like that. And then I will go into the red channel and I will add a, just a touch of red like that, just to add a little warmth to the image. Now, if I close out of that, I can toggle this adjustment off and on so you can see the difference here. Now there's not that big of a difference, but there is a very subtle change here. This looks very standard, and this looks like it has a little bit of a filter applied to it. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. That's how you can get started working with adjustment layers in Affinity Designer. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Affinity Designer Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Affinity Designer, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.